Okay folks, we're going to talk in this quick video about COVID, about the pandemic, about the virus. Okay, and there's lots of stories out there folks about COVID. Okay, all you're hearing in the media folks is COVID, COVID, COVID. Okay, because they want you to live in fear. They want you scared okay and can I just say before I go any further folks this video will only be uploaded to Rumble okay this video will only be uploaded to Rumble because I don't I may upload it to YouTube um, but I don't trust Facebook to upload to Facebook directly I don't really trust Instagram because they're also run by Facebook so I will just be uploading this video really I guess to Rumble if you see it up on YouTube then you see it so be it okay but I'm thinking just only Rumble so there's lots of stories folks in the media about COVID okay because they want to keep up with this COVID stuff, folks, to make you, the Irish people, live in fear. To make people all over the world live in fear. That's what the media does, okay? Especially the left-wing media. So, recently, there was a story, and I could give you a lot more examples, folks, if I had time, but I don't. Um, but there was recently a story that Cork's Red FM covered here in Ireland. For those of you not familiar, it's a radio station here in Ireland. And they were talking in an article about a post office in Blarney, County Cork in Ireland. And basically, they announced Blarney post office is closed due to an impact of COVID-19. Now, That's basically all they said and they later came out and said there was staff who became sick with the virus over 800 staff now folks are we buying that really 800 staff come on stop it okay stop it we're not buying that we are not buying that for a second I would say there was probably half that amount okay but I wouldn't say there was actually 800 people that all got sick at the same time folks now I understand folks that COVID just like the flu or a cold or whatever could come on very quickly okay I got a cold recently folks and you know thankfully I'm kind of okay now I'm doing a little bit better than I was a week ago okay when I first got it but I got I started getting it I think last last Saturday and it lasted through Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and slightly on Friday but it wasn't as bad and today is Saturday and I feel kind of okay again folks I really do but this is only one story folks I could give you a ton more examples of the media here in Ireland trying to make people scared this is what they do folks they love doing this okay they love having people living in fear that's why they want you to wear your masks get vaccinated get your booster and by the way there's a lot more stories now folks coming out of people who have been vaccinated fully vaccinated with their boosters getting COVID so how are those vaccines working for you I'm asking the media I'm asking the government who are pushing this to I'm asking the HSE I'm asking the World Health Organization, the CDC, I'm asking NetFed here in Ireland, 
I'm asking all of these so-called medical experts, how is the vaccine working for you? Because folks, it doesn't look like it's working very well. It does not, to me, it doesn't look like it's working very well. We have people going off, folks, getting their vaccines and getting their boosters. And I get it. Many people believe, they really believe, without checking first, that it's going to keep them safe. That they're going to be healthy again. And why do they believe that, folks? They believe that because that's what the media, the liberal media, the left-wing media and the government are telling them. Get your vaccines, get your boosters. You're going to live a perfectly healthy life. They later come out and they say, vaccines, people can still get COVID after getting their vaccine. So why are they coming out and saying this now, folks? Why didn't they tell people that before they got the vaccine? Hmm, interesting. Folks, we are now living in a world, like I said before, I'm not vaccinated, folks, by the way. And I've no intentions of getting vaccinated until I have the proper information, until I have all the evidence in front of me that the vaccine is 100% effective. And people have said to me, Dave, nothing is 100% effective. Then why are they issuing the vaccines? They told us, folks, the vaccines will keep you safe. The masks will keep you safe. Now they're coming out, folks, and they're saying masks don't work. The vaccines don't work. 100%. Folks, these people are lying to you. I've said it time and time again, folks. I will continue to say it over and over again if I have to. These people are lying to you. They are lying to you, the Irish people, because they think they can get away with it. And many Irish people out there, folks, are waking up, okay? Many Irish people are waking up to this and waking up to what this is really all about. You want to know what it's about? I've told you before, folks. Control. Tyranny and control. Remember I said those two words in previous videos? And I will continue to say, folks, because it's true. You've also got that idiot, that absolute buffoon, in America, folks, Dr. Fauci, who says one thing, then he goes back and he says something else. And he gets caught in the lie all the time, folks. This guy needs to be fired. He seriously needs to be fired. This was the same guy, folks, who came out in the beginning of the pandemic, by the way, and he said there's no reason for anybody to be wearing masks. No reason for anybody to be wearing masks. He then later came out and said people need to be wearing two masks. Okay. These people are lying to you. And they will continue to lie to you. Over and over again and again. Because they think you're going to let them get away with it. So let me ask my Irish people. Are you going to let them get away with it? Some of you probably will. We also have many medical experts here in Ireland that think they can lie to you and think they can get away with it. Dr. Tony Holohan or Holohan or whatever his name is thinks he can lie to you and get away with it. We've got the health minister, Stephen Donnelly, who thinks he can lie to you and get away with it. 
we've got the leader of our country, Michael Martin, who thinks he can lie to you and get away with it. These people are seriously corrupt, folks. Seriously corrupt. They will continue to lie to you over and over again and again. This will go on forever, folks. We're now in our, what, third booster of vaccines? I thought they said the first booster was supposed to work. Or the, the first vaccine. They told you you'd only need one vaccine and that would be enough. Then they came up and said, actually, people will need a booster. Then they came out and said people need a booster, another booster. This is the third booster now, folks. They're coming up on a fourth one pretty soon. Then there's going to be a fifth. Then there's going to be a sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. It will go on and on and on, folks. And why? Because they think you will let them get away with it. And you probably will. Stand up, folks. Stop this. End the mask mandates. End the vaccine mandates. Stop this now. Okay? Stop this tyranny. Stop this control right now.